Check this person out. This is your <laughs> daughter, <laughs> Cheyenne. <laughs> Damn, Dana. <laughs> hey, me. mama. Hey, what are you doing, girl? Like, no, look at you. Look like the uh, 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 something from a very uh, hor a horror movie or something. Like, ooh, 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 come out and get me. <laughs> so, hey, everybody, thanks we have much. we have we have mama and daughter on the feed. Uh, Cheyenne, thanks for coming on. I know you're busy. You told me that you were working. All good. Tell us what is it about your mom? What, what kind of values did mom instill in you that you still hold to this day? None. Look, <laughs> I got my values from my daddy. I learned what not to do from my mother. No. There goes, uh, Cheyenne, there goes your Christmas present right there. So you, you can fix you it. It. it right now. I already got my gift. <laughs> um, but you know what? My mom has just instilled in me to be my authentic self. Like if anything else in life, my mom is always a thousand percent authentic and it's that's hard to come by these days you know people you always you know generally meet well she's a character too but you generally meet people's character or you meet their representative you don't get the true authentic self of that per you know the, the, of that person and with my mom you're always going to get the real her <laughs> like no matter what she can't hide it won't hide it refuse to hide it and it's just you know, um, I don't know, I kind of envy that sometimes because, you know, you know, you go to certain places, like I said, you, you know, sometimes you have to put on a, um, a certain face or a certain, um, you know, character, so to speak, depending on where you are, so you would wear different hats, obviously, and, you know, in life, but, you know, you're always going to get Kathleen. <laughs> so did you ever feel, <laughs> did you ever feel pressure to follow in your mother's footsteps growing up as far as being an actress? I know you said you've been modeling since you were nine years old, but it's nine as, months you know, old. No, nine months old. Yeah. <laughs> since I could sit up, she could probably, wow. might, maybe even sooner than that. So, but yeah, um, I, I mean, I, I thought about following her footsteps Modeling and acting and so forth was never like a full passion for me. You know, people I've grown up, you know, I don't people, oh, you're so pretty, you're so cute, da, 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 for you know, my whole life. But to me, that's that's not that doesn't mean anything. Like, I don't, you know, I don't spend time in the mirror just like looking at myself. So it's not it's not about the out the outer exterior. It's about what's inside. And so, you know, um, if I've ever been if I've been called upon or you know, if, if, if my look has been needed or something, she always tries to get me involved in different stuff. She signs me up for all kinds of random stuff all the time. She's like, you have an audition. I'm like, what? Right. <laughs> hey, Cheyenne, Cheyenne, <laughs> this is your chance to spill the beans on mom that people don't yeah. know. Yeah. What, what's, what's something that mom does behind the scenes that's funny that people don't know about? Talk to the world tonight. Hmm, what could I spill? Looks like she's already spilling the beans with that top. I'm telling your mother. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> um, I don't know. How what can I say? I, I can't, I don't even know what to say about my mom. She's just crazy. Like you just, you know, like I said, you never, you know what, you never know who you're gonna get. Like, even though I said she's authentic. She's a moody person. So sometimes you never know. You got to see which mood she's going to be in. She's always busy. So if she's depending on what type of busy she is, it's going to really depend on like who, what part, you know, which portion of her you're going to get that day. I am so, a busy person. When, she, when I call her and she says my name like two or three times, she's busy. She'll be like, hey, Cheyenne, hey, Cheyenne, hey, Cheyenne. Hey, Cheyenne. I already know, busy, not going to be listening to what I'm going to say. I know. And you know what? I've apologized to her for that because I found myself, <laughs> really, I'm trying not to be so busy, but I am. You know, I do a lot. And Cheyenne and I, we share the most wonderful grandson, King Yari Tom. Mm. Turn we share a grandson. He, he's down I share my child with you. <laughs> he, yeah, you do. You do because you're a single parent. And that's a very important thing I want people to know about my, my daughter, Cheyenne. I'm very, very proud of her. Uh, she's a single parent. And it's very difficult and hard growing, uh, having, trying to raise a young uh, one child by yourself. So uh, my husband, Terrence, and I, we pretty much, you know, have King Yari with us uh, quite a bit. And he's doing his Zoom and schooling and everything. And I'm sure a lot of parents and grandparents can, can 
you know, relate to the Zoom and the schooling and everything. So be, beside that and looking out after him, because she's working, she's still struggling trying to make it work, but she does. And she's done a lot of wonderful things. And uh, I, we encourage her to keep doing it. And that's a, that's a family support system, which is very important. And that's why I know that parents and people that are out there are busy as well. And I, aside from that, I cook. I'm the house cleaner. I do this. I do that. I have. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm working on the businesses, especially the Tradera. Okay, and you know, uh, Cheyenne's working on it too. So we got. We just busy. I'm telling you, I love being busy. You know, we can oh. sleep when we're dead. Okay. <laughs> well, ladies, la last question before we wrap the show up. It's, it, it appears that. Both of you have a very close relationship. I can feel the love. I can feel the genuineness going on right here. What can you say to the young girl who is not close with her mother and she's searching for that validation or uh, approval elsewhere? And what can you say to the mother who is not close to her daughter, but she doesn't know how to connect with her daughter because we're a product of our environment. And so, for example, this mother, maybe she didn't have an example. So she's doing the best she can with her daughter, but her daughter doesn't understand that. What kind of hope can you give these two ladies tonight? OK, um, I would like to say, you know, it's a rough road. Basically, I, I initially was a single parent with Cheyenne for several years until I got remarried. But. You know, it, it's, it depends on the parent and the parenting and how it's structured from the very beginning when you get your children, because I was pretty much probably too much like a, a, a sister to shine at some point. And I was really busy and trying to really, you know, get my career off the ground, different things. But she never really wanted for much in terms of physical things. Uh, but mentally and physically, I think we could have shared a be better bond. And it's so different, but parents, you have to stick with your children. You gotta mm. communicate and listen. Listening is so important. I've just really started listening more to Cheyenne than I have in the past. Like she said, I be, I'm, I'm busy, mm. but it's not. And I, I, you know, I put her off and I, you know, I shouldn't answer the phone when I'm busy. I do that to a lot of people because it's not respectful when I can't talk to them. I, they want to talk and, and I put them off. So I think in lieu of not even doing that, I, I should not answer the phone, but I see her when she calls me and it's in, in, important to me to take her call. But family, mothers and daughters, you know, it's not a competition. It is what it is. You are the mm. mother, they are the child. Mm. You have to instill upon them certain things. I know Cheyenne's picked a lot from uh, good things, values up from me over the years, you know, it's taken some time and I think she sees me in a different light, mm. especially, you know, with our or her son and uh, me and her, you know, jointly watching and caring for him and do doing different things. And she she's, you know, it's patience, it's patience, understanding and listening and communicating. Bottom line like for that. me. I like that. Shine, did you have a thought on that? What do you say, Miss Shine? I'm so proud of you, Mom. That was good. <laughs> My advice, like you messed up my joke. I was gonna say my first advice was you could, or my easy answer was you can have my mom. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I can't give her away because then I'd be without. And, you know, they say you can't get it from an empty cup. Anywho, um, my advice would be just, you know, regardless of your regardless of your relationship with your mom, because not everybody has a good relationship with their parent. Um, not all people. um People have tough relationships with their parents, period, no matter what what it is, how it is, step parent, extended parent. If you grew up in a shelter, doesn't matter. You know, people go through um, tough relationships with their parents. So I won't act like mine was an easy one. And like she said, we could have done a lot better um, bonding uh, at an earlier age in life. So for me, it's a blessing now to be able to have a closer relationship with my mom now as an adult. Or I guess we can. I guess I can kind of say I have more, just more respect and more value, you know, for for where we are now and what all the different things that we've gone through, um, you know, just as uh, mother daughter, as women, just you know, uh, entrepreneur, you know, someone, you know, uh, as her as a role model, you know what I mean? Me as a role model, like you, your kids are, your kids, your kids end up being your role models too at, at a certain point, you know, because you just become out of touch with. Um, with reality, the older you get, you know what I mean? So the, you know, the, the youth is kind of 
you know, we're going to kind of turn back to the youth at a certain point. And, you know, um, I'm, just, I, I'm, I'm grateful that I'm able to have a strong relationship with my mom. Okay, everybody, that is Kathleen Bradley, who was out here a few minutes ago. We lost her. This is her daughter, Cheyenne. Hey, quick plug for Cheyenne. Cheyenne is a massage therapist in the Los Angeles area, and she's also a part of a hiking and biking club. Make sure you check her out. It's B Hiking. And high kings and queens, yeah. Yeah, high kings and queens. <laughs> it's kind of a play on words. The B is for biking, the H is for hiking. So it's like bikings and queens. The H is kind of yeah. silent, but it has me. <laughs> there it is. Make sure you follow Cheyenne on social media as well as her mother, Cheyenne. How can they follow you on social media? Uh, I'm at Foxy Shy. That's F O X X Y C H E Y. Foxy Shy on there, IG. There it is. All right, everyone. We have these two lovely ladies. I'm back. I've been put out of better places. What happened, Brandon? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Brandon, right. for having us You're on. That was everybody. Really cool. Thank you for tuning in to the Brandon Holt Show, episode 23. Closing out with my main man, a.k.a. Mr. Shaw, Sugar Shay. Come on out, Sugar Shay. We're going to close out with you. I'm going to